Do I want to do this one now? I might actually want to do this whole one. But this is an hour long, so I don't know if I want to do it now. Look, it's Iron Man. Alright, so the trick with Iron Man is if he kills any one of... If he hits any one of your characters with a good launcher, he can kill your whole team. He and I think War Machine are the only characters who can do that. So the thing is, that just builds meter. Um, the thing about this sequence is that it is an infinite. And not only that, but um, Iron Man with precise timing has a, an unblockable that works on every character that can punish them like when they come in. Oh, he, had to, he had to do that. That was bad, bad meter use. You can like He has an unblockable on incoming characters that then leads to that infinite. So technically speaking, ooh, this is an infinite too. This is only on Sentinel and maybe Blackheart. Um, uh, Iron Man is literally the most lethal character in this game. Because of the sheer number of characters he can just kill. Still conversions out of this. No hit sense scaling in this game. No gravity scaling either. So this is still a real match. Just saying. It's really bad because Iron Man has no assist. So like... The Sentinel player can kind of attack. Oh, this... No. That conversion was really hard. He had to get to a low height. He had to carry Sentinel to a low height. Um... The Sentinel player can kind of attack with his assists while kind of blocking everywhere else fairly safely. Nice. That was a punish. There's no startup on Super Sitter DH Seed. Or, like, barely any startup on Super Sitter DH Seed. The startup is during a Super Freeze. So you can use DH Seeds to kind of get Supers in really quickly. If you use like two supers, you can get like a like normally hailstorm. She has to like find the wall, but if you've got like storm as your second character, you can like do one super and then immediately cancel to another super before the first super does anything, and then storm will come out immediately. Oh, here we go. I got some pretty standard teams. You don't see Iron Man that much. Both teams have an Iron Man on it, which is kind of cool. He's not a bad character. He's a little bit slept on. that super was to hit to this assist. If you can tag the assist, if you get an assist in like that, they can't like flip out of combos or anything. So he could have just done a touch of death on that assist if he actually got over the screen on time. I think he had a combo to kill that assist, but he didn't. He missed it. Cable's pretty good. He's got good hitboxes on everything. And um, if he confirms into an air hyper viper beam, he can get a bunch more air hyper viper beams. And if he mashes them, and if he does the right combos, he can get... But I think he can kill you with like three sunbars. Hmm. I will save this link. So Sentinel has permanent super armor, and also the highest health in the game. And also he can um, block during flight mode. And also his hitboxes are really big. Sentinel is generally considered to be the second best character in this game. Sometimes the best. It depends on who you ask. The other one is Storm. Oh, a Blackheart. A Sun Sun. Blackheart is like actually a good character. Sun Sun is, I, sp I think, shit tier. We'll see whether he uses this like an assist and whether she actually has a good assist. You can kind of run. That's. I think that. I think I remember that being a good assist. You can kind of run a weird Sun Sun, or like not a weird Sun Sun. Well, you can run a weird character on your team if it's like the third character. You can have two characters plus a good assist and have a good team. Since Storm Mag Cable. It was unquestionably sent Storm for the very long time this game was out. And then there were a lot of, like, not quite characters where... There were a lot of characters that people didn't realize they were that good. And a lot of characters where people thought they were good, but they weren't actually that good. Like, Iceman is not that good, but a lot of people think he thought he was high tier early on. And it took a long time for... Magneto was always, like, good, but, like, it took a long time for people to really figure out, like, how to win with Magneto. Magneto is one of the best characters in this game now. He's probably better than... Like, he's probably, like... I don't know if he's actually, like, top one or top... He's he's top three. I think he's better than Cable. But top two or top one is questionable. But, like, he's he's evolved a lot over the course of the game's life. He's got a good-ass infinite. And he's got probably the best footsies in the game, or some of. Blackheart's got a lot of good projectile spam. He's also heavy. I think this affects his, your ability to combo him quite a lot. 
He falls out of... Like, he has unique combos that only work on him, but he falls out of a lot of combos that work on other characters. But he can be annoying like this. Turtling is really strong with some characters in this game. I remember Spiral. Swords and shit. Captain Gordo. I always said that as gibberish. I didn't realize it was supposed to be English. Because Captain Corridor is kind of a weird name. For a giant beam. So this team probably just abruptly starts being shitty. Once Sun Sun is the only one left. But to be honest, like this is probably true for Captain Commando as well. Captain Commando is not that good by himself. He's more of an assist character. His assist is really good. But by himself he's just kind of, you know, mediocre. The only reason Captain Corridor is in it, I mean Captain Commando is in it all, was to give Sentinel some healing. 10 seconds. Storm zoning is very strong in this game. Very difficult to chase her. Her combos are okay too. And by okay, I mean better than most of the cast. What team do I use? I've never played this game seriously. I fucked around with it a lot a long time ago. And my team was very wacky. It was... I played Joe Zaza's team. But with Strider instead of Gambit slash fucking Sentinel. I played Wolverine, Wolverine, Strider. Two Wolverines. My team in Marvel almost Wolverine Strider, so it's just like, well, what kind of team am I going to play in this game? How about another Wolverine? But I've watched this game for a long time. I know a decent amount about it. Storm is very good against Sentinel. Storm is probably Sentinel's biggest counterpick. I lied, Strider is Sentinel's biggest counterpick. But Storm is really bad too. I will probably get infinite. Gene Splice is one of the best assists in the game. Invincible DP assist. Very good hitbox. Sets up combos for your main character. Ah, they traded. Oh. oh, what was I going to say? This team probably falls apart when Sun Sun's the last character left, but most teams are, are like that. That's what I was going to say. Most teams fall apart. So Sun Sun has this move where she like runs up the wall. Oh, interesting. Got combos. So Sun has this move where she like runs up the wall and then um, does a dive kick. I don't know if you can actually choose the direction. Oh, she's dead. You can mash that for more hits, and if you have like tool assisted levels of mashing, it actually does an insane amount of damage. The potential seems really high on that to squeeze out more damage. Same Sun Sun. This is uh this team is called I think Team Matrix. I don't know if there was actually a player named Matrix. I think it's actually just li literally a reference to the Matrix. I think it's supposed to be um, Storm is Storm is Trinity, Sentinel is Smith, and Cyclops is Neo. I think it's literally something like that. Chris Matrix. Okay, there was, there's an actual reasoning behind it. There is a player Matrix. I know people like went a little ways with that little explanation though. It's a pretty good team. Cyclops is one of the best assists in the game and Storm and Sun are the two best characters, so. It's a very solid team. No weaknesses. It's one of my favorite songs in the game. You guys probably can barely hear it.
のプラズマを大先生でさあ1試合目東海戦早くねあこのグラマのさあクルージング選手がどう捕まえていくのか実際にスコアが頑張っているのでグラマだいぶ減っているこれはどうだ Or, like, beam. I mean, Chris G didn't invent, like, Chris G's team, right? And Marvel 3. I think there was someone else who played that team briefly before he played it. It might have been, um, might have been. I know、uh, Dominion played Morgan. Didn't he? I don't remember. Do I don't remember. I don't remember. That means actual team. I remember there was a beautiful Joe on it. But he played like a very heavy zoning team, and he was like, fucking Morgan is like crazy potential. Hasn't been unlocked yet. For <laughs> here, he's made a bunch of the Wolverine tech. That's neat. Beautiful Joe, strange Morgan. Cyclops is not helpless by himself, but he's, he's definitely not good. He's one of the better characters, but like, the tier gap is so big in this game that, like, you know. He played Ryu. I actually forget his vanilla team, but Ryu was like the center. Double D DP assist is just fine in this game. You only really need one assist character because assists come back really quickly. And you don't really use assists in combos that much. So, this is an infinite? I've never seen it. It looked really strange. b u r e s k e r Hawkeye is like a pretty cool team. One of the things that makes me really sad is how rarely you see like low tier heroes in Marvel 3, even though, like, you know, the game is more balanced than this game. And, like, it's not too hard to be a low two hero in that game because, you know, there's actually. Most characters have, like, some pretty cool tech. Like, even. A lot of characters who are bad, like Shuma or Firebrand, are, like, not actually bad. And actually have some fucking areas where they're actually really busted. And there are Shuma and Firebrand characters, players. But,、um, there's a lot of other characters where they have some really cool tech that you'd never ever see them. I haven't seen a Tron since Vanilla. I don't think I've seen a She Hulk since Vanilla. Black Heart Zoning is pretty strong. His hitboxes are giant too. But you can see how hard it is to actually catch him. His projectiles, for the most part, aren't really doing anything, but it's more like he's not really taking any risks. And then when he sees that DP connect, that assist, picked up that combo really easily. Right? Chun Li is really good. I never actually saw anyone. I, like, I, I, I knew a lot about、uh, what characters could do in Marvel 3, even though I didn't play it that much competitively. I thought Chun Li. I didn't think that Chun Li would be top tier or like, really strong, but I never saw anyone unlock Chun Li. And I was like, I wonder what Chun Li I wonder where Chun Li is if she's unlocked. And Ryan LV has like, a fucking unlock Chun Li. He has like, the actual Chun Li bullshit. That I knew existed, but like never saw anyone use the full Chun Li combos. Justin Wong has a very, very good Felicia that you will never ever see. But it's actually one of his better characters. It's one of his best characters. Justin Wong has a lot of secret characters, though. I've seen Justin Wong、uh, Virgil before. That one's actually not very impressive. But he has it. It's not like a bad Virgil.
I think Justin Wong secretly plays every character in the game. Justin Wong has one of the best Franks, if not the best Frank. Like, there aren't that many Frank players who are as good at, at the character as Justin Wong is. But Justin Wong is probably the best Felicia player in the, in the, in the game. It's a shame, she's a pretty neat character that almost no one plays. Oh, this one. She eats you and then spits out the seed. I didn't know you could combo that one like that. Tricky incoming mix up. Hit Iron Man before he could do anything. Yes, the Japanese MVC2 tier list is different from ours. Just a bit. They like zoning characters more and rushdown characters less. That being said, the game is less developed in Japan than it is in America. That Sunset Assist is looking real good, especially with the way that Blackheart can like convert out of it. He's convinced me. Magneto and Iron Man. This Magneto doesn't. What does it do? Who's this assist with this Iron Man? I mean, with this with this Magneto. Magneto is a really good character, but he doesn't really normally fly solo. Is that it? Iron Man. I've never seen Magneto Iron Man. That's probably a really common core though. There's like several. There's several assists that work really well with Magneto. This is just to get Magneto's health back. Letting a character die is phenomenally bad in this game. You become dramatically worse with each dead character. X-Factor was literally invented because of how fucking fast matches end as soon as you lose a character in this game. Especially two. It becomes like a fucking... It becomes unwinnable once you've lost two. Being... Even one character against two in this game is so bad, it might as well be like fucking... One player against two in uh in like Smash Melee teams. The match is just over once you're one person almost all the time. Anyway, my Iron Man is really good, but he needs he benefits a lot from an assist to pick up and convert. I think he did that just because he wasn't sure about kill. I don't think he wants this character in. It probably doesn't matter at this point. The health differential was way too high. I mean, you know, cannot make that combo by that comeback by himself. Well, he can, but it'd be like crazy hard. Can it match up right here? The big three of this game, like, would never ever work together. Magneto and Storm, I guess they've worked together before, but you know. Magneto and Storm, bitter enemies. Sentinel, bitter enemies of both. I think that's actually not an infinite, but like a meter infinite. As long as you go bar, you can keep on doing that same sequence. It takes like three of them to kill someone. Or like four, from full HP. Builds decent meter too. Or not decent, but like, you know. Doing three of them, you'll get meter for a fourth one. Meteor is pretty busted in this game, it builds pretty fast. There's no way to spend meter besides supers. Most supers are not very risky. Cyclops is just trying to buy time. Ooh. Cool. Get combos. He's, he's doing some okay neutral right now. It's a hard matchup. But it's not terrible. Well, it is terrible, but like it's, it's not like, you know. With good Cyclops movement, you can do some work. Cyclops is, again, like a high tier character. It's just that the power gap in this game is insane. But like, you know. Cyclops can't really play like a good... Oh, very good this is call. This is winnable, but it's hard. Now it's very winnable. Now it's extremely winnable. I would even say the Sentinel has an advantage. Oh, 
Oh, that's it. No, it's not. Couldn't even kill. He had a super combo to kill. It was like the kick super. Quarter circle forward kicks. Both of them hanging back. I understand why Storm was hanging back, but I'm kind of surprised Iron Man was. Sentinels just nullifying each other. Ooh, got some damage on the assist. And then check the swing to make sure that he didn't eat a super. Storm literally super just to like stop the beating on his assist. If it's your backup character, like them getting hit doesn't matter that much as long as they don't like, you know, eat a full combo. I think this is unsafe, you have to DHC. I actually didn't know that. I don't think I've ever played Iron Man in this game. There's some wacky motions in this game. I think Storm has an up to forward fireball, right? Or is that Magneto or is that both of them? Zoning is like the way to play this game anyway. Cable's good in a zoning team, but like, you know. If you don't have Magneto on your team, it's like easier to play defense than offense. Almost every top tier character can play defense really well. Magneto is like hyper, hyper rushdown though. Magneto is probably the most busted rushdown character in any game I've ever seen. Magneto can literally like like call an invincible assist and then attack you from like overhead or low or overhead on the other side or low on the other side and then regardless of like no matter which one of those four he does he can convert it to an infinite like that's insane Magneto with the red assist is completely crazy Iron Man fell out real quick Trying to get a shit ton of chip. All of this is like safe, and if he happens to get a hit, it does a lot of damage. He's content to use the meter, like fishing like that. It's not like Storm can't rush down. It's just that she's like just as qualified to run away. And characters tend to be more weak to run away, and run away tends to be less committal. Was that a throw? I'm not sure I've ever seen that throw animation. Saving Sentinel is the right play there. It's hard to play a truly rush down scent. There's just a whole lot of nothing installing with Scent all the time. His movement is good, but not like... He can't truly just mix you up like that. Alright, incoming mix-up. That was it, I think. But he dropped the combo. I shouldn't say incoming mix-up, incoming unblockable. If you have like a deep enough like hitbox, you can like hit off-screen and hit the opponent before they get the ability to block. Or something like that, I don't understand how it works. But like certain attacks, like on the right frame, the opponent cannot block as they're coming in. Custom combos in Alpha 2 are pretty neat. They're kind of more... They're a lot more busted than they are in Marvel... I mean, in Alpha 3. But they're more universal. They're more... I don't want to say balanced. But they are more universal. Right now the Cyclops side is really weak. Gotta get Cyclops in just to let Sentinel heal. You still got two really high tier characters on the uh, left side, B1 side. 
Ooh, got him on the super call. He was trying to DHC to safety. Safest way to tag. Tagging, raw tagging is unsafe in this game. Like Marvel 3. So the safest way to tag is to do, um... Um... DHCs. This is like a fairly even match. There might have been a combo to kill there. Sentinel's combos are like crazy advanced. Or rather they have a crazy high ceiling. I know there's a really big quirk in Alpha 2. The Vi, Vi CC. If you do a custom combo while the opponent is not crouching and do certain attacks, it might be just like fucking lights. You can actually hit the opponent before they can start low blocking. This is the uh, classic. This is Megan no Psylocke. This is the most busted um, rushdown of all time. Psylocke assist is invincible. Magneto has an infinite that he can convert from a successful Psylocke assist. Oh, Cap Capcom is dead. This should kill too. Oh, that was probably like two accidents. Or maybe some severe styling. If both char if you've got two characters right out in front of you, like a point character and assist, and you snap them, they both get snapped. I meant Captain Commando Capcom. This video is pretty entertaining. I'm not bored. Kill the Cyclops. Yeah, that's good too. You can't tag into the character who you just got snapped out of, but you can tag into your other character. But of course, raw tags are pretty punishable. So once you get snapped into a character, it's pretty hard to get out. Works like Marvel 3. I'm trying to explain the mechanics of this game, and I realized that, you know, Marvel 3 works largely in the same way in a lot of fronts. It's a pretty decent sequel as they go. It does a lot of stuff differently, but a lot of the stuff is spiritually identical. That might have been a certain, t a very particular timing on like a jump gunshot, jump heavy, and then just like a normal. Um, a very particular timing can be an incoming unblockable for cable. Tried to pick up the assist and missed it. Um, I haven't played Melty in a while, but I guess I'm still mildly interested in playing it. But I haven't thought about that in ages. Nitro, Nitro 2. You can't raw tag. We just saw a character get it raw tagged. Or rather, raw tag after getting snapped. Like almost immediately. We literally just saw it like a second ago. Oh, you're saying Marvel 3. That makes more sense. Yeah, you just gotta chill. Marvel 3. They wanted to make, um,. Uh, Dark Phoenix balanced. That was probably the wrong play. But there was basically nothing he could do to not die there. I forget the name of that, but you can snap out during a combo, while blocking a combo. Um, I don't, I think it costs like a bar or something like that. But like, you're blocking, but the incoming character will be getting hit, so it's, you know, it's very... It's only for like very desperation escapes. <laughs> these resets are so dirty. I think a lot of these, I don't know who the ROM Infinite works on. I thought it worked on every character. But we're seeing a lot of just resets. But the resets are, like this character is so busted. Crossover counter, yeah. The reset is so busted. His neutral is so good that it like it doesn't matter that you're constantly letting opponents flip out.
ーが AK だね。とワッピー側が、えー、ワッピー側が富士あーあこれさ大鳥さんですよ。ワッピー側が大鳥、富士側が梅田で。さあまずはえっ、ー、と大鳥が一から全部。Oh my god, that fucking Psylocke is dying. Psylocke is a very mediocre character by herself. She's probably like mid. But she unlocks several other characters. She is a fantastic assist. She's an invincible DP. That leads to a nice juggle state. Her dying is not a big deal. I mean, it is a big deal, her dying, but her ha missing a ton of health is not a big deal. This is still okay. Magneto Psylocke is a good enough team by itself. Yes, he tagged the Magneto. Repeated crutch, he's crutch, crutch hard punches. Yeah, easy kill. That was nice. This is now like in Magneto's favor. Not significantly, but like enough that he's got a really good chance of winning. Oh, now it's significantly in Sentinel's favor. It's like crazy high in Sentinel's favor now. This is a matchup where she's okay, I guess. I know she's got some repeated jump stuff that she can do. Street Fighter boys. Did you punish this? Wow. Maybe she could have. Like an early firewall or something like that. Oh. This is the Sentinel drone call. Magnetno or Magneto Storm Psylocke. Um, I think this team is generally... I think this is now generally considered to be one of the best, if not the best team in the game. Nowadays, in the modern meta, MSP. This match might already be over. This Iron Man makes no mistakes. He did a baby combo instead of going to the infinite. He's got a lot of meter though. He can kill with this combo. He can go back into... I don't know what he can do. Well, I mean, it's basically over. It's just mono Psylocke. Which is horrible. Ooh, that's something. It's still horrible, though. This match is still over. That helps just a little bit, though. This will be a fat comeback if he can actually do this. Never mind. He was out of meter, so he couldn't keep it going. Wave dash, like hard punch, which I think is the beam, into a uh, heavy sentinel punch fist guy. Into super. I don't even know what that game is. Akatsuki Blitz. On paper, Iron Man teams are the best team in the game. Iron Man has very solid footsies and also, technically speaking, is the most dangerous character if you're perfect. Iron Man is like secret number one. But you have to be really good at this shit. Did not get the reground. I must always see Iron Man as a lead. A neat fact is that the that infinite and the incoming mix up you can actually do with War Machine as well. Iron Man and War Machine are almost the same character, but um, War Machine is a little worse in a couple ways. I forget how. Some of his projectiles are different, I think. But technically speaking, if you want double the chances at the Iron Man like touch of death, um, you can run Iron Man and, and War Machine on the same team. Uh, that being said. Um, I've only seen a couple of people do that. Generally, stacking a character tends to stack your weaknesses, if you know what I mean. 
if one character has a bad matchup, having another character with identical like qualities will have one of your opponent's characters countering multiple of yours. Chip is a very, very real thing in this game. If you decide you want to get a shit ton of chip, you can, as long as you got meter. There are a lot of like long sequences that just gel the opponent, and there's no way out of chip chip scenarios. Like there's a lot of supers that will just the opponent is forced to block it no matter where they are on the screen, or like they can't get out of the way in time by the super activation. And then DHCs mean that you can just get a bunch of other supers. And a lot of characters even without DHCs, like Storm can just call a shit ton of hailstorms. There's nothing you can really do to stop it, other than block it, but like, if you don't have the health to block, you're fucked. Sentinel, if he gets you to block one fucking Sentinel Force, Sentinel Drones, on most characters he can get you to fucking block like four more. If he wants to. It's very easy to just have long sequences that jail to do a shit ton of chip, but they're usually very meter intensive. I mean, it's hard to do significant chip at all without using a block super. Yeah, Strider's the really obvious example. Strider can, like, kill you even if he never successfully opens you up if he's willing to use five bars. Even if you successfully block everything. Just across the ch across all five bars, you're just going to take so much fucking damage. The, what the fuck is this team? What the fuck are either of these teams? They must have shaken hands before the match. Anacharis is not horrible. He's actually like a pretty good character. He's got decent zoning and like good hitboxes on his normals and like combo completions. And I think he has that thing he has in um, uh, Darkstalkers where he can never ever get cornered because he can always backdash to get on the other side of the screen. I'm pretty sure that... Um, uh, these other these other I don't know about Rogue. I've never even seen a Rogue player. Anacharis is like secret high tier, or like secret mid, I guess. I don't know. Sim is like secret high. He's got an eight way air dash. He's the only character on the Capcom side with an eight way air dash, and that's kind of a big deal. But his combos are really hard because he's got zoom normals in addition to like Y boost to get combos. So you have to do like all kinds of direction holding during his combos. Um, Thanos is usually regarded as the worst character in the game. I'm pretty sure. Like him or like Roll. Or like Sentinel. I mean not Sentinel, what the fuck. Uh, Serbot. Kaboon. Thanos has... He's got an infinite, I think. And he's got okay assists, and his supers are okay. So his other attributes must be really bad to make him like a bad character. I know that he's generally regarded to be like, like horrible. Their supers are actually pretty DHC friendly. I don't know if they're weak. In that little bubble. Hulk, I'm not too sure. I think he's low tier. Low tier MVC2 is fucking fascinating. You don't get to see it that much. The thing about this game is the tier disparity is really high everywhere. It's not like there's a bunch of high tiers and then a bunch of low tiers. It's like there's a bunch of high and then a bunch of not quite so high and then a bunch of fucking mid and then a bunch of not quite, like a little lower. And then very low and then really low. Even the mids smash the lows, if you know what I mean. Like the tier disparity is insane. Yeah, Juggernaut's like a solid mid, isn't he? I know Head Crush is pretty great. That is an overhead. He's got very, very sneaky, like, jump, jump in snare stuff. I know, like, a decent amount of Anacharis just because I know a decent amount of, uh, um, Vampire Savior. Ooh, grabbed him. That, like, cancels everything once it lands.
It's like a little grab that goes halfway across the screen. It's kind of like, um, what's his face? Verse has something a little bit like it. And of course, it's neat. There are a lot of unplayable characters in this game. Kaboon. Serve bot. Does almost nothing at all. I think Amingo is supposed to be bottom tier too. I think he has a little bit of gimmicking. Most characters in this game have some degree of gimmicks. That was a fun little match. There's so many characters in this game, you very rarely see most of them. It's easy to forget Mega Man's in the game until you see like a random Mega Man player. This is a really bizarre infinite. I think I have seen this, but I've only ever seen it in like... Uh, like tool assisted combos. I didn't know that match happened. Justin Wong is Justin Wong is the undisputed champion of this game as far as I'm concerned. That added almost no damage for the fucking second two bars he spent. I think it wasn't supposed to fall out like that. His team was kind of in the wrong order to get anything like that. Doing that sequence just reordered his team to a better way. I remember it was Justin Wong Dark Prince. I think that Justin Wong lost, but it was hilarious. That's the one where Justin Wong picked a fucking shit tier team. He, he random selected a team. Jill, Ken, Ruby Heart, that's it. All of those characters are like secret mid. They have qualities of. Well, Ruby Heart's just kind of like maybe even high. But Jill and Ken have a lot of qualities of low tiers, but then like some secret funny stuff. Like Ken's hard DP is actually fucking incredible. That was a good job killing the assist. Can't have an infinite, oh, to my knowledge. He might have like some kind of Tatsu infinite on big characters. His damage is pretty high in general, and his combo options are not horrible. I know his uh, his Shippu Super is invincible from the first frame on. I know his hard DP has a lot of invincibility, and like surprisingly good recovery. They tried to make it like pretty good. Justin probably knows how to play every character in this game. Ruby Heart has a lot of shenanigans. I think she's like a high tier character. She's like got a bunch of stuff that is normally on like top tiers. But she doesn't quite have enough to like pull it all together. But I'm pretty sure she's one of the best and one of the better characters in the game. Double MSP. Did Justin have any control over his assists when he random selected that team? There are little ways a character can suck. I remember seeing this one in Marvel 3. Someone pointed out to me that um, Iron Man has no safe super. Which, you know, 
It makes him really horrible to DHC into. Like one of the main ways of switching characters in Marvel is to fucking super and then super your super your way in with like your second super and then that puts your other character in. But Iron Man Iron Man has like fucking just a level three which is unsafe. And then two fucking big beams that are unsafe. Little things like that can just really suck. A lot of ways a character can have a giant gaping weakness. Marvel. Did you see all that chip? That's what I was talking about earlier. It'd be kind of cool if the straight beam from Iron Man was safe, but did a lot less damage than like the up beam or something like that. Media snap out, it's trying to kill Tron. I don't quite know how the glitch works, but I know that Tron has a glitch where her assist does literally like twice as much damage as it's supposed to. Which technically makes her one of the better assists in the game. I think she's a horribly mediocre character apart from that. But again, two two top tiers plus like good assists is very strong team co composition. Most teams have some variation of that. It's much more common to see a team like that with a random Psylocke at the end, or a random Tron at the end, or a random Cap Captain Commando at the end. Much more common to see that than it is to see um, just three top tiers. Fucking storm set, storm set, and all cable stuff like that. Any good J1 matches? Maybe eventually. I think that down light kick. Supposed to be really, really busted. I think it's got an abnormally fast startup. I'm pretty sure Marvel 2 is the game that Micross started on. Isn't that kind of weird to think about? I mean, started on is a bit strong. I think he started on Street Fighter 2. But I think this is the game he came to Street Fighter 4 from. Ouch. Lose two characters. Yeah, I remember that. Storm is. This is one of the really. This is one of the. This is actually one of Storm's best attributes. We're not seeing it right now because of good rushdown. Oh, I missed it. But Storm had like a decent amount of HP, and her, the other two characters had very, very bad. Oh wow, killed both. Interesting. Called the assist, trying to hit him out. Um, Storm, if your other two characters are dying, Storm is really good at waiting patiently for them to get their health back. Now we got a fucking cable. I think people normally say um, Sentinel Storm, Storm Sentinel cable, I think. 
There's like a team that's called like Team Team Easy or something like that. Team Baby. I forget the name of it. Team Noob. Something. Something like that. That's just it's marked by how incredibly easy it is to play compared to most of the teams. It's just like literally the three easiest high tier characters. It's not like I mean, all three characters um have crazy potential to be difficult. Storm and Sentinel. I mean Cable I guess Cable still does. Cable is generally seen to be the easiest good character in this game. Team Scrub, that's it. Yeah, it wasn't even yeah, it wasn't even Storm, it was fucking Captain Commando. That was it. Team Scrub. That's the team. Got the assist. Can't do anything to her though. Probably could have done. No, what was the. Cable could have done Hyper Viper Beam. He could have DH'd. He chose not to. Ooh, nice kill. Cable would have been a big problem if not for that. Magneto has a pretty big advantage here. Oh, we got more low tier madness. We got a Nash. We got Morgan. We got Gambit. Who was that character at the end of? Sun Sun. Cool combo. He actually got the um, happy birthday too. The taunt. I miss bad manners. It's harder to have bad manners in um, modern Street Fighter games. They made taunts like really, really fucking committal. So you wouldn't actually do taunts. And they moved places where you had good opportunities to do taunts. Gambit's like, okay. I think Gambit's mid. His assist is kind of good, and I think his neutral is okay. Morgan has... I don't know if Morgan has anything good in this game, to be honest. I think she's supposed to be low. Generally, you can tell a character is high tier because they're Marvel, and a character is low tier because they're Capcom. The only really high tier characters in this game that are Capcom side are... Um, oh, look at this. Yes, I love this gameplay. The only really high tier characters on Capcom side are like uh, Strider Hiryu and uh, Captain Commando. And both of them are only really good with the right team support. That light light heavy punch looks really funny from the, uh, Dalsim. Dawson's footsies are incredible. His ability to just throw out like fucking jumping air and almost to just go that far and you can just get all these cool combos. He's got like borderline sentinel combos with his limb size. Yes, nice combo. That was a reset. Certain characters actually can combo air grabs from certain air normals, but that was no such example. That little teleport, he can do like a teleport in the recovery of certain attacks, I recall. That's tall, but he got in the dead zone. Looks dumb as fuck. Good tell. Yeah. 
The reset. Sneaky. Sandbagging. Oh, what the fuck is this? It's a baby Bonnie Hood, Chun-Li Akuma. This might be one of those um, bullet teams. Baby Bonnie Hood was one of those characters. I think Anacarus was too. I think Akuma might have been as well. Certain characters do a shit ton of damage with their um, team hyper combo. THGs. The double, the when you get all three of your characters out at the same time doing supers. There were like certain teams you could run where you could get like a three hit confirm with one of your characters and then just react that you were doing it. And then if you had three bars you could do the team hyper combo and it would just instantly kill. Like the three supers called for the team hyper combo did enough damage to just kill any character. Anacarus was good for it. Baby Bonnie Hub was good for it. Um, I think Jug uh, Juggernaut was a common one on that team. There were more. Very common though. Sakura has the most bizarre infinite in any fighting game. It's a time over infinite. If she activates fucking Summer and Sakura, Dark Auto, she has a teleport that has one frame startup and no recovery, which means she can technically mash teleport from start of the match to the end. Having a teleport with literally no recovery is already pretty strong. That super is insanely powerful. Baby Bonnet Hood is the guile of um, uh, Darkstalkers. She's a charge character with some really, really good neutral and some interesting charge tricks. I don't know if she's a charge character in this game. Neat. Well, that was fun. Sako is also very famous because of Baby Bunny Hood. Oh, there goes Sentinel. Getting a happy birthday is basically like the best thing that can happen to you in this game. You get a lot of meter, you kill one of their characters for free. Darkstalkers is very popular in Japan. In as much as you know anything was in the niche, niche fighting game tournament scene. Baby Bunny Hood is an infinite in Vampire Savior. That's very difficult to do. I don't even think it has any charge moves in it at all. It's literally like dash, dash normal, dash normal, normal, dash normal, dash normal, normal. Something like that. It's like repeated micro dashes. She had like a dash that like perfectly kept you in range. It was like Forte's Run Stop Fierce, basically. She had Forte's Run Stop Fierce. Except it was like a true infinite. But like if you were a little slow with your button press, it wouldn't work at all. Or if you didn't dash like a su sufficient distance, it wouldn't work. But baby, we only had an infinite, and Sokka was one of the only people who could reliably do it. It became known as the Sokka Infinite. And it's one of the first things that really got Sokka on the map. Ultra hard infinite that only he could do. He kind of made it his thing to be able to do like crazy, crazy hard execution stuff. Maybe because of that, or maybe he was always that guy. Which is why that fucking never happened in the first place.
っかりしてるさあ最後ストーンもタッピンさあさあ主人ここで先手ロックさあさあまだ分からないぞさあ青山とバグリとさあ体力のバグリとチェンジしてあなたが見つけるのは6時間後サカは最後の神。あなたの神は最後の神。Daigo was already a name before the Evo moment, but Daigo became a mega name with the Evo moment. He needs this fucking Magneto's health back. Storm Psylocke is still good. It's not like this doesn't work. Storm's movement isn't quite as fast as Magneto's, but she can still get like 8-way air dash mix-ups on you. And Psylocke can still pick up. They don't lead to like the same kind of bullshit they do with Magneto, but like it's still there. The pressure is there. Storm can play a very... Storm is like the second best character in the game at abusing Psylocke assist. That might have been when he blew up in America. I don't know how big of a deal that was in Japan. This is a strange, strange. So they're running the same team, and it's just big bodies. Assist and Colossus are both good assists, I think. I mean, assist、uh, Juggernaut and Colossus. Grab players are kind of shit in the entire Marvel series up until three, and maybe including three. There was never any attempt to like balance Zengi for round throws. He kind of doesn't approach very easily at all. They didn't do anything to make throws really good. Colossus has some really big normals. Head Crush is a really good super. Juggernaut has some really fucking big normals. But he's like a false. He's like he's like the big, he's like the I just started playing top tier. He's not that good. But like a lot of people think he's good because he's kind of a scrub killer and also because like he seems like it'd be really good if you didn't know like just how broken the game is. Head Crush does a ton of damage. Alright, that is this game. Like 9 out of 10 dead, I guess. Like 8 out of 10. It's quite dead. Still a little bit of play. This is recent footage. This is January of this year.
I mean, it's still an arcade machine that exists in arcades. So there's still like archive footage like this. I'm sure Justin Wong still plays it. Yeah, it's not like fucking Santa X doesn't exist anymore. Or fucking Neo or whoever. There's a Marvel 2 machine in a movie theater. Oh shit, we finished. We finished the video. Time for me to sleep. 